again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with the conclusion, yes, the conclusion of the Manda Leaf Shawl Crochet Along tutorial. Thank you so very much for sticking with me all this time. You guys are troopers to get this far, and I appreciate your support and your viewing. And also a big thank you to Lion Brand for sponsoring the series. And we are on round 31. Yes. Okay. I'm so excited because we are in the home stretch. Got a couple more rounds to go and we can get that done during this tutorial. So that being said, let's slip stitch into this next stitch here, like so, and chain up three. Okay, and double crochet our way across, omitting the last stitch, which will give us, let me see here, we've got two and three, four. Five, six, and seven double crochets for this leaf here. Okay, moving along, chain three, of course. All right, now, last round we did, it was a, a double, chain one, double, chain one, double. Well, we got to open it up a little bit more. So that being said, after doing our chain three, double crochet into that first double crochet. And we're gonna open it up. So chain three and double crochet into the next double. There we are. And chain three double crochet into the next double and that opens that up nicely okay continuing along chain three skip the chain space in the first double going into that next one and every other one omitting the last one as well as that first one so we've got two three, four, five, six, and again, seven double crochet stitches. Scoot your work. Chain three. Okay, skipping that last double crochet and the chain space, go into that first double crochet with a double crochet, chain three, double crochet into the next double crochet, chain three, and double crochet into that third double crochet. Okay. And then let's do another one just because, 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 because of, because of the wonderful things we does. Yes. Chain three. Skip the chain space in the first double going into the next. And six more for a total of seven. And really that is the rest of this round. Just a matter of opening up that fan that we created in the last round and shrinking down our pre-existing leaves because that fan is going to become a new leaf. I know it's not exactly a huge surprise, but hey. All right, so just keep on keeping on in the same fashion, going from nine double crochets down to seven and then opening up your fan a little bit more instead of just a chain one space, a chain three space in between your doubles and work your way around. And then so when you're back to the beginning, you would be doing your seven doubles, chain three, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, 
chain three and slip stitch to the top third chain of our first double crochet. And I will see you in the next round. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, so we are up to round 32. And yet we're going to follow suit just as we, as we have been by decreasing our current leaves. So slip stitch into that first stitch and chain up three. I know nothing new about that, right? All right. So continue by doing your double crochets across, but omitting the last one, just as we did the first one. So we've got three and four and five. Okay. And then, and of course we're going to omit this one and the chain space. So to scoot right along, going to chain three and double crochet into the freestanding double crochet stitch, chain three again. And here we have the middle, the spine, and this is where the new bud is going to start to shoot forth and blossom. So into this middle double crochet, we need three double crochet stitches. This is not going to be a uh, large increase at the moment, but we will get there. So we've got three in that stitch there, and then chain three, and then double crochet into the next freestanding stitch, chain three, and skipping the chain space and the first double crochet, and then double crochet into the next five stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Good. Okay. Chain three. Skip this last double crochet in the chain three space, double crochet into the freestanding double crochet. Scoot your work as needs be. There we go. Chain three. And do three double crochets into this middle double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain three. Double crochet into the next freestanding stitch. Chain three. Skip the chain space and the first double, and then five double crochets. And that is the repeat for this round. So we've got three and four and five, chain three. Just want to do a little bit more. Okay, skip the last double here, the chain space going into this freestanding double with a double, chain three, three double crochets into the middle stitch, one, two, and three, chain three. There we go. And then double crochet into that next freestanding stitch. And yeah, just keep going on in this fashion by having a new bud of a leaf in the beginning, in the middle, excuse me, of this trio and continue decreasing your pre-existing leaves down from, uh, from seven 
down to five double crochets and keep going around and around and around until you reach the beginning and you have your five double crochets, chain three, double crochet, chain three, three double crochets, chain three, double crochet, chain three, and slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet in that first little chain up there. Alrighty, so I will see you for the next round. All right, see you in a bit. All right, onwards and upwards to round 33. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to, as per what we have been doing, we're going to continue by decreasing this leaf and continue the growth of this leaf. All right, so slip stitch into the next stitch. And then, yep, chain up three. And double crochet into the next two double crochets for a total of three. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, and then chain three, double crochet into the free standing stitch. Chain three again. Okay, now we need to bulk up this leaf here. So yes, we're going to do a mega increase. So that is into the first stitch, two double crochets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Three double crochets into the second stitch. And three. There we go. And then into the third stitch, two double crochets. Okay. Then scooting right along, chain three. Double crochet into the freestanding stitch. There we go. Chain three again. And skipping the chain space and the first double, double crochet into the next three double crochets. There we go. And one more. Okay. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Chain three. Skip this last double crochet stitch in the chain space going into the freestanding stitch with a double crochet. Chain three. Double crochet two stitches into the first stitch. Three into the second. And two into the third. There we are. Okay. I want to do a little bit more. Chain three. Double crochet into the freestanding stitch. Chain three. Skip the chain space and the first double. Double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Chain three. Double crochet into the freestanding stitch. Chain three. Okay, two doubles into the first stitch. Three doubles into the second stitch. Chain 
and two doubles into the third stitch. So really that is what it boils down to for round 33. I'm going to do the mega increase for your leaf buds, decrease your pre-existing leaves from five down to three, and for every freestanding double crochet, another double crochet separated by chain three spaces. And that, my dears, is how you do the rest of this round until, of course, you reach the very beginning where you would do double crochet, chain three, two doubles, three doubles, two doubles, chain three, double, chain three, and slip stitch to the top third chain of your first double crochet stitch. And I will meet back up with you for, guess what? The last round. Yes, yes. All right. I'll see you in a bit. Da, 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 da. Round 34, the pace de resistance, the finale of this project. And it's actually not much different than what we have been doing. Going to slip stitch into the next stitch because we need to finalize the decreasing of this current leaf. And because we need to chain up three and need a chain three space, we're going to chain up six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Double crochet into that freestanding stitch like so, so that we have a double crochet and a chain three space all wrapped up into one. And then chain three. I'll get there. <laughs> and continue on with the mega increase of the new leaves. So that is two doubles into the first stitch, and then two regular doubles here and here. And then in that middle one, we're gonna increase that one. So two regular doubles, one and two, and then three into that middle stitch, one, two, and three, then two regular doubles, one, and two, and then two doubles into the last stitch. So we have our mega increase going there, then chain three. Yep, come on. Thank you. Double crochet into the freestanding stitch. Here we are. Chain three. Okay, so skip the chain space in the first double double crochet into the middle stitch. Scoot your work as is necessary. So much fabric, so little time. Okay, so I just want to do a bit more of this. So chain three, and then skip this last double and the chain space, double crochet into that free standing double. chain three into the first stitch two doubles and then two regular doubles and then to the next stitch three doubles one two three, then two regular doubles, one, two, and two doubles into the last stitch, chain three, double crochet into the free standing double, scoot along, chain three. OK. 
chain, skip the chain space in the first double, double crochet into that middle stitch, chain three, double crochet into the freestanding stitch, Eey. too much fabric. I've got too much shawl going on here. <laughs> okay, chain three. And then once again, do your mega double, sorry, mega increase, excuse me. So that's two doubles into the first stitch. This is really how the rest of the round goes. And then two regular. And then three in the middle. One. Two. And three. Okay. Then two regular doubles. And then two into the last stitch of the new leaf. Okay, so that is really how you do the last round of this piece. And quite frankly, I think, I, I think it doesn't need an edging. I think it looks really nice this, this way myself. Um, personal opinion. All right, so I'm going to finish up the rest of this round and I will meet back up with you. All righty. All right, my dears, so that concludes the crochet along of the Mondelief shawl. Mm -hmm. And I really hope that you enjoyed this series. I had a blast, not just in creating this piece, but sharing it with all of you. And I hope that you give this piece a chance because it's so gratifying when you're working on a pattern and it really comes together. And in spite of all the frogging and tweaking, I'm so pleased with the final results, and I, I hope you do too. So, that being said, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you to Lion Brand for sponsoring this series. And stay tuned and subscribe because there's always more to come on this channel. And until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye for now.